us understand that marriage is a good thing. He that find it a wife, find it a husband, find it a good thing and has obtained favor of the Lord. And every good thing, including a peaceful, joyful, fruitful, and settled married life, is our right in Christ. Every good thing of life is our entitlement in Christ. Matthew 7, 11. How much more we got good, good things to them that ask him. Every good thing, every good gift is our entitlement in redemption. Therefore, I decree the good of marriage and marital settlement, peaceful, joyful, fruitful married life established in anyone's life today. Thank you, Jesus. They said, whatever I tell you to do, therefore do it. What am I to do to actualize my glorious marital destiny? Remain in love with God. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Remain in love with God and it will say to you supernaturally. Remain in love. Don't seek an alternative to God. Don't stand there waiting for God to support your alternative. Remain in love with God. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. Number two, Remain committed to kingdom advancement and divorce. Almost every testimony you have read today, they are tied to people's engagement to kingdom advancement or with kingdom advancement and divorce. Why? Matthew 33. Seek ye first the advancement, the enlightenment of the kingdom of God in all righteousness and all these things, including married things, including marital settlement things, including peaceful, joyful, fruitful family life, shall be added unto you. Remain committed to kingdom advancement and divorce. And see how God decorates your life and all aspects of your life, including your marital destiny. Including your marital destiny. Can I tell you this? I never prayed for marriage. A friend said it's time to pray for life. And I said, well, let's pray for you. As for me, Matthew 6.33 answers all my questions. That is, God is here hearing me. His own son is a pastor in this ministry today. So it's not some fiction. And he did. God will be adding color to your life within the next five weeks. Yeah. Operation by all means will settle you maritally by all means. Yeah. Operation by all means will settle your head desires by all means. Three, beware of pride. You want to be settled? Beware of pride. Don't stand where nobody can reach you. Don't look as above everybody is. Maybe perhaps including God. Beware of pride. 
Can I marry you? How many degrees do you have? <laughs> Only one. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Amen. Can I marry you? Yes. Amen. What's your parental background? There are farmers in my village. Ah. Have they ever traveled? No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Beware of pride. You want to be settled in your home? Don't stand there as a lion. If you talk in this house, you are dead. <laughs> Amen. And your wife doesn't want to die. What does he do? He disappears. <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. You know my background? If not for marriage, will I be with somebody like you? Then go and marry your parent. <laughs> Beware of pride. <laughs> May you not use your hand to tear down your own destiny. 